Hey, 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 what's up everybody? My name is Ryan Tusher, and today is Wednesday again. We're gonna be learning something new. Today we're taking a look at Affinity Photo and how you can go through and edit your photos in like one click using a lookup table, or what they are known as in the shorthand, the LUTs. Um, it lets you take adjustments from one photo edit and put them into a file that you can go through and use on as many photos as you want. And you could take like, you know, 100 photos in your studio, you edit one of them to look good, and then use that LUT on the other 99 and speed up your process by so much, save so much time and just get so much more done. It's amazing. So let's uh, roll the intro and uh, we'll get to it. Okay, so we're here in Affinity Photo. I have this picture of a Ferrari, like middle mini model inside of this glass box. I went to a like classic cars dealership um, a couple weeks ago and they had all these like super awesome old cars, like muscle cars and just like vintage cars. And they even had like $100,000 like a, for, like a Porsche. It was super awesome. Walking around that place, I feel like if I touched anything, they're gonna be like, sir, you gotta buy that. And I was gonna be like, nope, I can't do that. I, I don't have any money for that. So it was crazy walking around, super awesome experience, and we got some really awesome photos out of it. So this is what we're working with today, this little Ferrari mini model inside of this glass box. We're gonna start out with our curves adjustment. Uh, if you're interested in seeing what we did, we kind of brought up the blacks to like more of a gray, kind of desaturated the whole thing and also kind of lowered the brightness for the whole photo by taking the uh, line beneath the main red line. And I think that does a pretty good start for that. And then the next thing we did was we brought out our reds. You can really see it when I click it on and off. Really popped the reds and everything. So in the red category under selective color, we uh, brought down the cyans, brought up the magentas, brought up the yellows, and brought up the blacks. And it really helps make that that car pop and also helps to uh, change the wood from like a yellow color to more of a red color which is really what we're looking for here and then finally i went through and took the exposure and just brought the entire image down that way if i use this as like a background on my phone the app icons and the app names will pop out and stand out whereas the background kind of just fade away and be there i can still see everything and see everything in detail but i won't be like my eye won't be drawn to it and i'll be focused on the apps and everything so this is what we have for our Quick adjustment, I did this in like a couple minutes and everything like that. Three simple basic edits, but honestly, I think it looks way, way cooler than the original. I think it actually, with a couple edits, looks really good. So, now the thing is, you wanna take these photo edits and you wanna put this on a bunch of other photos. So, to do that, we're gonna export it as a LUT. Go to your file, go to export LUT, and then you can go through, you can rename it. I'm gonna call this Redwood because that's what it is. It's, we changed the wood to be red. Um, I always leave it as cube. I've never really looked up or did anything else. I just use cube and it seems to work so far so good. So I leave that. Uh, quality, I just leave it at 17 again. I haven't had any problems with it. Um, I've, I have changed it up to like 34 or like higher one time and I didn't quite notice a difference, but maybe there is if you get into like super high-end professional stuff. But you know, we're just working with some stuff. So we're gonna go through, export it, and then we're gonna go ahead into another photo and bring it in. So once you've gone through and you've exported it, you can go over to your next image. This is a picture of a Lamborghini. The Ferrari is actually right over here by this TV. Um, but we wanna go through and edit this photo in like one click. So go to your adjustment page and click on your LUT category down here. And then when you get that, open up your gear and click import. And then navigate to the folder that you have your LUT in and we click on redwood.cube, then open, and then if you just to apply it, all you have to do is just click on it, and boom, the entire photo is edited already. It looks amazing, and so all of the edits we did for that Ferrari picture are now on this picture. And since it's in like the same location, it looks pretty dang good in my opinion. I mean, you know, we got the red for the bricks and the wood and the wall, and then everything's kind of just brought down and desaturated and kind of, you know, a bit more muted. And yeah, that's how you edit a photo in Affinity Photo in one minute using the LUTs. If you uh, learned something new today, you can go through and hit the like button maybe, or if you want to, could maybe consider subscribing. That'd be super awesome of you. We also just hit 300 subscribers this past week, which by the way is super, super amazing. Like, thank you guys so much. You are 
crushing it out there. So all of you that have subscribed, personally, I thank you. You're amazing. Anyways, onward we go to 400, and uh, who knows how often more we go. Maybe we get to 1,000. You never know. But anyways, other than that, have a fantastic day. I'll see you guys next week. Goodbye.